This is Frank Roth with Mobile Home University. Mobile homes are very, very misunderstood. Lots of people, when they think of a mobile home, they think of a Jeff Foxworthy skit. They think of an episode of Cops that they saw. But the truth is, the industry is nothing like the stereotype portrayed by those programs. You'll be shocked to know that mobile homes and mobile home parks started out at the very upper end of the strata of American society. Back in the 1920s, the Vanderbilts, all the reigning families of New York, when they went on a trip, what did they do? Well, there were no motels back then. The automobile was relatively new. So instead, when you went on a trip, you could either sleep in your car or you could sleep in a tent on the ground. Well, the Vanderbilts, the Astors, the Pillsburys, these people did not want to go out and sleep in a tent. You can't blame them. So what they did was they had coachmakers make very elaborate trailers. These trailers were solid mahogany. These trailers had their own china pattern, their own sterling silver pattern, and they would take these big trailers out on the road behind their V16 Cadillac. And when it came time to stop for the day, they would pull over and the servants would camp around that trailer in tents while they luxuriated inside their mahogany trailer. That was the start of the mobile home industry. Now later, cities said, well, gosh, these are very affluent customers. We want them in our town. How do we get these people to stop here? And they built, you can guess, trailer parks, free parks where people could park these trailers so they'd come into town and spend their tourism dollars. Isn't that odd? Mobile home parks, which people think of as being so trashy and such a bad place to be, really started out life at the very highest end of the food chain. Here's another interesting statistic for you. Right after World War II, mobile home parks had the highest demographics of any form of housing in the U.S. Yes, that's correct. People who lived in mobile homes following World War II had higher incomes, higher education than people who didn't live in mobile homes, mainly thanks to the GI Bill. A lot of GIs came back. The government put in mobile home parks around colleges and these folks, who later are today's doctors and dentists and lawyers, they all lived in mobile homes following World War II. So again, the industry was right at the very top of the food chain. Now, although it's obviously fallen since, there's no way the demographics of a trailer park today would compete with a custom home subdivision. Nevertheless, the folks in mobile home parks are not always what you think they are. There's very many folks out there with very decent household incomes that live in mobile home parks. So this is Frank Roth with Mobile Home University. I just want you to think about the truth about people who live in mobile homes and mobile home parks. These are not all just a bunch of redneck idiots. It's people from all different stratas of life. It's people with decent jobs, decent college experience, many retirees. Just keep an open mind. It's a mixed bag. The people who live in mobile homes are, are not the folks off Jeff Foxworthy. They're not the folks off COPS. They're good, solid American people. This is Frank Crawford, Mobile Home University. Thank you.